Dave is a friend of mine. I met him maybe 15 years ago doing his hair. My belief in uh, God was none. What you see on the streets would kind of indicate that there's no God. I knew Deborah was a um, believer, but she wasn't pushy at it. She would say what um, God and Jesus have done in her life. You know, each time he came in to get his hair done, he, he asked more questions. And um, so it was kind of like fishing. I would like throw a little bait out there and tell him a little bit more about God and what he's doing in my life. And, you know, he asked more questions. So finally I just said to him, you know, if I get you a Bible, would you read it? And he said, yes. Then Alpha. So I remember one time he finally came in to uh, get his hair done. And uh, I asked him, you know, I had the piece of paper. I'm like, I think this would be really good for you. You want to go? And I remember um, I signed up for it. I must have gotten pretty annoying towards the end of it because the four most spoken words uh, throughout the Alpha course that I spoke was, I didn't know that. After I became a police officer, uh, I met Dave Dupreeze. Uh, got to know him really well when we were on the SWAT team together. But a change um, had happened in him when, when I would see him, he would be different. Rodney had the guts to ask me what I was doing. I thought maybe I was reading the Bible or some kind of alpha literature. And what happened was Rodney was one of those guys where there's just something about his personality and demeanor, like maybe he'd actually listen. And I was kind of searching, wondering if there was more to life, like what could fill that void. Dave, in his story, had told me about going to alpha and how that had changed his life. It would not do it justice to say um, Alpha was the defining moment in my salvation. We attended every session and went to the weekend. We were actually roommates on the Holy Spirit weekend, but it was during the video and during that time that like a light bulb went on in my head. And at that time I gave my life to Christ uh, there on that weekend. You know, I think prayer is so important because um, God has to, show them a need before they're receptive. And um, I think that Dave had some genuine needs in his life and I just happened to be there.